Did you turn the sound on? Yes. It's on. Are Thank you, Lord.
need to discuss if we want to continue to go along with the stamped concrete or if we want to save $20,000 and go to the River Rock. So I would entertain discussion on that. Anybody got an opinion? Mr. Bowling? I guess I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. But what the what it would look like, I mean, I don't, I'm doing a, a project, I want it to look right. I spend a lot of money on a project, I don't want to. Will the concrete last longer than gravel? Will gravel have to be replaced in five years or ten years where the concrete may be good for? I can't. For I would say time. the rock will last forever with the one exception if kids or someone gets in there and starts playing in it, they can throw it out. I guess somebody can haul it away. Uh, that's not an issue that concerns me for some reason. What's your advice? This. What would you two guys say? Put you on the spot. You volunteered to go first this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daryl made a very interesting observation here is we're all trying to envision what this will look like and we get one shot at it in a sense. I mean we can, we can keep redoing it forever as long as somebody keeps paying to redo it but we don't want to do that. We need to take our best stab right up front. Um, the thing that drives me the most is low maintenance and I don't know if any of you have looked at the trail that was constructed last fall on the east side of town. If you go up to the north trailhead, the planting beds up there are pure wheat. Now that did not have a wheat barrier under it, but that was done in, I think, November. And already it's Johnson grass and everything else in there. It's just a mess and nobody's caring for it. That doesn't explain whether stamped concrete is better than river rock, but whatever we do, we need to, I think, acknowledge that getting somebody to care for it's going to be a big, big, big challenge. So it needs to be as low maintenance as we do. Well, a wheat barrier only lasts for so long. It does pretty well if you keep the sunlight off of it, you don't attack it with UV. Uh, but you're right, nothing's permanent. It's making rack. If you want to go with every single variable, because I've got a sidewalk out front to prove that. Um, and all our neighbors are doing this river rock thing around their houses, and it looks really nice compared to mine with the mulch and weeds. Uh, so I hear that every day. I, I, uh, I just look for guidance from the board. If you want to stick with this, the cement, then fine. If we want to, uh, because this is going to be something that once you do it, you're going to want to be consistent through the remainder of phase one and anything that could come up in phase two. So you're going to be pretty much, if you go with the stamp decorative, then we would probably end up going with stamp decorative for the rest of the project, which is going to be considerably more expensive five river rock. I think the notion of kids playing in it, with it being around about, I don't, I don't really see that as being a, a concern. Um, fun if it was. I can't see too many kids playing in a roundabout. <laughs> I don't think it would get all the way either. Yeah. And you bring up a good point, Rick, and being consistent throughout the project we uh, choose to do that uh, on an extra twenty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand yeah. dollars. Twenty. Four, twenty-two, something like that. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollars a pop. Though you're going with uh, however many times we have to do it. So we really have two situations. One is the roundabout, and that's a one-time deal. We're only going to have the one roundabout in either phase one or phase two. But then the other part of it is all the plantings that we have and bark mulch is really nice but it is relatively high maintenance. You have to keep after it all the time. And 
so um, anything we can figure out to use in lieu of shredded bark mulch is probably going to be a great improvement for me. So would you suggest if we go with river rock on this to match it and go with river rock anywhere else that mark is? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, and we pretty much agreed we were going to use the river rock rather than the mulch on the other plantings. A majority of those are between the trail and the old County Road 150 North. Immediately east of Moscow Road. Moscow Road. Really, if you hit the river rock once, twice a season with some weed control spray, it takes Yeah, I think it adds a natural element more so than the concrete. The concrete I mean, you is can, kind of stark. And as far as the, the roundabouts, you can argue all kind of things. Yeah. I mean, you could. I've asked people on the job side. I've talked to the foreman. I've talked to the project manager. You know, we've suggested putting in concrete. When we get the monument poured, around put base. come a base around it, like a two foot surround all the way around. Go ahead and put the grass in for the natural color and put the plantings in as proposed. Uh, you know, other people talk about rocking the whole thing. I mean, it's like Ron said, we got one shot. I think several of them would look good. I personally think that the stamp concrete inside the big stamp concrete ring, it's going to look a little nice. Yeah. I think the plantings and the, the rock or the, the grass even, it it tends to break it up a little and it adds some natural it's feel to it. It's more of a natural feel because there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of asphalt out there as well, so a lot of hard surface. Right. And right now, it's hard to go out and take a look at it because everything is right. topsoil graded, there's nothing growing, so it looks really sterile for about 120 feet wide in every direction. But shortly that will turn yeah. green. But hopefully we're going to turn a lot of that green. I don't think there's a right, there may be some wrong answers here. I don't think there's a right answer, other than money, of course, it's always the right answer. Um, it's about personal preference, personal aesthetic viewing. Um, no matter what we do, we'll find some people that will like it and some people that would have liked something different better. Go no, by it. What is actually around the outside perimeter of the roundabout? How is it? Stamp concrete. Okay, stamp concrete. Where you see them, from, if you've been out there. The first curb between that and the taller raised curb, that will be stamped concrete and it will be a red color, approximately the same as all of the inserts in the sidewalk for the ADA. Kids are everywhere in the I evenings. I just came from there. Like, wow, this is a dream come true. <laughs> a few friends that I know of, <laughs> and um, I think having. And that's going to be an ongoing issue. Day. You give somebody a, a 25 foot long wall that goes from three and a half foot to six <laughs> inches. There's going to be skate, and it's three foot wide. Yeah. I mean, I might go ride skateboard down a three foot wide <laughs> wall. I'd like. I would try it. But, but I think I think I I think that giving them a nice flat surface that they're right up just adds to it. Might be a might be a problem. Yeah. You know, um I mean hopefully we'll get business in there pretty quick and that'll you know, but as long as it's vacant, yeah, that's a that's a playground and a half. So they're there every year. Of course, it's amazing there's already people walking the walking trail every evening, too. Oh, I too. thought about skating on it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any more discussion? Adam, why do we have anything? Okay, I'll entertain a motion for whatever the board wants to do. I'll make a motion that we use the River Rock Landscape Manscape Gravel. I have a motion. Do I have a second? All set. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, Heather, would you please take a vote? How are you well, taking 
favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. You know where you're okay. you know where The only you're other thing we have, have is we have received an updated game chart for schedule of activities that have to be done for completion. I apologize for not getting it to you earlier. We received it this morning. electronically they can have a chance to review it thank you I think everybody's got a number if you've got any questions oh this is phase one this is phase one thank you thank you thank you is there any other discussion on phase one any more questions for Mr. Claus Camper or Mr. May Okay, if not, then we will move to the phase two project update. And that will once again be Mr. Me. Bucket. I got out of county tip 14 tonight, so I'm stuck here. Um, the designers have been working on it. Uh, if you notice there's a claim, uh, you can review some of it there. They're continuing to work on their categorical exclusion. Uh, they've increased activity as far as wetland delineation, which is making the determination throughout the the area for phase two. Um, one thing we're looking at on this that we didn't on the previous one, because of where it's going, they have to do noise analysis, and possible noise abatement through the area. So they're looking into that. Uh, the road design has intensified a little bit and the utility coordination is in full swing right now. And they sent us an updated schedule um, I got just in time for the July quarter report to NDOT and they actually were to shorten up some of the time frames. We decided to leave it as is because of right away issues you can run into later in the project and it's better to just stay on our original schedule right now. That way we have a stumbling block, we don't alienate anybody down there. So uh, they seem to be progressing well. I might add that we had a quarterly progress meeting with NDOT about two, three weeks ago, Mark. Um, we queried them about their funding situation and that they had figured out what they're going to do and they said there's no, no concrete disposals out there and they couldn't tell us anything. So it's, we're going ahead like that money will be there as they promised. Does the board have any questions for Mr. Foster Camper or Mr. May? Phase two. This is just kind of an overall question. And, and Mayor, you may need to answer this question. When we did the Lincoln Street project, there was so there was a, a percentage that we had to use for enhancements. Does that apply with this project? That was awarded under a different grant. Okay. That time was an actual grant for that dollars. There won't be any in this one. What we had there was we had money that came from two different pots, if you want to. All of that. Federal Highway puts so much of their money that they give to the states to distribute into what they call enhancement projects. Their trails can fall into it. There's a multitude of things. This project is strictly coming out of what they call STP, the acronym, and there is no enhancement involved. There could be some landscaping and some of that stuff, but it's not a separate category of funding. And whatever happens will come out of the money that's been. I just know on our Langham project. Street project, our hands were tied on what we could use that amount of money for. And there were a lot of questions on why we use money for monuments and fancy street lights, et cetera, et cetera. And I just wonder if that was going to be a stipulation here. Yeah, at that time, it cost us 200000 300000 Right. And this project is the same percentages, but there is nothing that is dictated to go with it. That's good to know. Thank you. This is all driven by the Federal Highway Act, and I think 
we're under a different highway act now, the Bowling Street project, and they change those things around every time they come out with a new act, which is roughly every six years. I think you have one question. Uh, would the walking bicycle pass be an enhancement? Or is that under the 8020? It, it's eligible for funding out of the category of funding that we have for the project. So while it could be eligible for enhancement, it's also eligible for the money we have, so it'll be about that money. Yeah. And it'll be an 80 20 match. Any other questions? Okay, we will move on to approval of claims, better known as those pay our bills. Um, I got a paper from Bridget, and I called her to confirm and told me to cross out the amount of 161031.27 and put back the original amount that was on the invoice, which is 166.714.21. So, um, basically what we have here is we have a claim from Omara and we owe 166.714.71. And then we have a claim from American Structure Point. These are all phase one claims in the amount of 7,000,00218. And we have an amount of American Structure Point in the amount of 642,11. Those are all phase one claims. Total them up if someone wants them. I assume that everyone on the board received the email from Bridget indicating that she would like us to approve her to draw the entire amount this month to pay our bills. So we are not going, I, 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 would, um, I would assume that we would follow what the clerk treasurer is asking us to do, which would be to draw draw that amount, um, draw 226, 117.66 from our bond, and so she can pay our bills. Does anyone have a question about that? And Bridget did offer to come to the meeting, but I thought she was pretty clear in the email, and uh, I talked to her today and I didn't see any issue with it, so is there any discussion? On the invoices or our bills. Anyone? Anyone? Okay. If there's no discussion, I entertain a motion that we pay our bills. So moved. Second. Thank you. My other please take a vote in the manner of your choosing. For a voice, you either have a voice vote or you ask for a vote. A voice vote. 
Take I a love voice. my I'd let her choose two. Take yeah. a voice vote. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No one opposed, so the motion carries. Opposed? <laughs> Mr. Stevens, we need to clarify that that will be drawn. I believe you made it clear in your the motion that you were entertaining that the intention was to draw on the wall. I just want to be sure. But as a point of information for the record, I will note that you asked that it be bond, that you can draw from the bonds pay those. Is there any questions? Is there anything else that the board members wish to? I did not get a regular claim for Vianna for $50, so uh, I don't know what happened there. Um, I didn't get it. So, you have one? I did not get one. Usually I have one that's got your name on it, but uh, there's nothing here in the packet that with your name on it today. Do you want us to go ahead and approve payment to Bayetta of $50? Okay, I have a motion. Second. Second. Sure. Take a voice vote, please. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, the motion passed that we pay our secretary. Is there any other business that anyone on the board wishes to bring up? Going once, going twice. Okay, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Second. You want to take a voice vote for that or no? Nope.